You're watching NBC4, working for you. Live from the area's leading news station, this is News 4 at 4. An arrest warrant is issued for Michael Jackson this afternoon on multiple counts of child molestation. Good afternoon. I'm Pat Lawson News. And I'm Jim Hadley. More on that developing story in just a moment. But first, the heavy rains and high winds today rolling through our region. The big concern right now, flooding. A flash flood warning is in effect. Bob Ryan and Veronica Johnson are on the storm in Storm Center 4. Pat and Jim, it has been a uh, busy afternoon with very heavy rains coming through. Some spots well over an inch of rain. There are still also to our south, uh, still officially uh, tornado watches. But the uh, good news has been we haven't seen anywhere near the uh, real nasty weather that would look like it was possible, possible. And the reason, really, that we're under a flood warning, and it includes much of the metropolitan area, is not because there's any river or stream flooding, rather because of all of the uh, storm drains being clogged up. So there has been some uh, street flooding. Here's a uh, quick look at the regional radar. Also, take a look at this uh, tape. This was uh, shot earlier today around Independence Avenue and 17th Street, of course, a usual problem area, a usual problem area. There you can see, uh, and we're going to be seeing another about a half inch of rain. There really have been no thunderstorms. That's the reason, even though there were a lot of uh, se uh, severe thunderstorm warnings, you didn't hear any lightning, primarily because what we were afraid of was some strong winds at high levels of the atmosphere getting translated down to the surface. But that really hasn't happened either. There have been a few uh, little minor things here, but the main thing from here on in will continue to be uh, the, uh, the flooding. And right now we're also at high tide. Here you can see uh, Haynes Point. Let me turn over to Storm Tracker, my colleague Veronica, who's got the local view of things. Thanks a lot, Bob. Mining uh, flooding because we are expecting an additional one half uh, inch of rain during the overnight. And as you take a look at Storm Track, uh, Digital Doppler XT here, anywhere where you see those uh, yellow echoes, those, uh, that yellow shading there, is where the rain is falling at a rate of one half inch per hour. So it's up around Harpers Ferry again, in Clark County there in Virginia, as well as Jefferson in West Virginia. That's where some of the hot spots are with some of the heaviest rain coming down. But again, those high winds are certainly gone now, the worst of the weather over, but with additional rain tonight, and those clogged drains, we could see some more uh, flooding, minor street flooding taking place. Take a look at Hagerstown, Maryland, E. Russell Hicks Middle School. Here's where one of the highest wind gusts were today, and up to 49 miles per hour. That was at 12.17 this afternoon with over three quarters of an inch of rain. Another spot here, this is where I found some of the heaviest rain, right there in uh, areas of Montgomery, Potomac, Maryland, uh, over two and a quarter uh, inch of rain. Temperatures, of course, falling. And here's a wider view of that rainfall, pretty much what we were looking for. A lot of spots there, Cumberland to Boonesboro, Leesburg, and over to Culpeper picking up close to an inch and a half, if not over that, up in Cumberland there of rainfall for today, Bob. And that's uh, the good news is, is that while we have had these warnings, there's been no serious uh, real uh, damage, certainly no injuries, so that's all good news. And actually, as the storm system now is moving fairly rapidly, I think we're going to be seeing, and uh, we think the uh, rain will be pretty much over by midnight. And tomorrow, rather than cutting off and hanging around us, it now looks like everything is going to be moving through. So the good news is we're going to be back to some sunshine, a little breezy. And uh, best of all, it'll be a sunny, dry weekend. So on the weekend, you can get out and rake those dry leaves, which have been flying around. But again, the warning has been for uh, low uh, overpasses, standing water, primarily from uh, clogged storm drains, not any problems that are going to be uh, severe or widespread. And best of all, uh, the uh, watches that were out earlier for possibly, possibly some damaging winds, those have also been lowered. Veronica is going to join you downstairs with more details on our future weather. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Bob. Let's turn to the streets now. Roads in the area around Independence Avenue and 17th Street in the district have been closed because of rising waters. Sergeant Scott Fear with the U.S. Park Police joins us live with the latest uh, paint the scene for us, Sergeant. How you doing, Pat? Nice to see you, Jim. Tell us how, how things are down around the Tidal Basin this afternoon, how bad they are. Well, the water is quickly. The National Park Service got out here. up some of the barricades. 17th and Independence Avenue, it's been a problem before in the past. National Park Service has contacted Federal Highways and they've taken a look at what we can do with this. But uh, National Park Service is doing a great job of getting the pumps out here and they're going to open up the roadways. So again, it's going to just to slow down. Drive defensively today, please. Take your time. If you see standing All right, Sergeant Fear obviously having some trouble with his audio there, but you heard there that at 17th and Independence, the roads are closed. We saw a horse there going through the water. It could be a mussy rush hour there, so patience is required. 
Well, on to some area schools. Schools in Fairfax County have been taking precautions as the storm rolled in and classes let out. Mary Alice Salinas is at Glen Forest Elementary School in Falls Church with the latest there. Mary Alice? Good afternoon, Jim. This is what's left of the storm here in Falls Church. Gray skies and some relatively light rain. But earlier this morning, every school principal in Fairfax County was contacted and told to be prepared for anything that this storm might bring. Here at Glen Forest Elementary School, the rain was pouring just as the kids were being let out from school. The staff did the best they could to keep them dry using their own umbrellas to escort them to waiting buses. All went well during a day which started with a storm alert from the Fairfax County School Superintendent. Dr. Dominic asked that we checked all the roofs and all the drains to make sure that we wouldn't have any problems. He notified us that the winds could be 50 to 70 miles an hour. The principal says staff didn't take any chances. Even before the storm hit, teachers moved more than 200 students from these modular units to the main building. The solution is This is the first time this school year that students have been evacuated from the units. The students brought in their backpacks. Teachers brought in whatever materials they may need to finish out the day with minimal disruption. Of course, some of them said they were afraid of the storm. But then as soon as we came in and sat down and we brought our books and some things to do with us, they got right back into listening to the story and now they're going to draw a picture about it. Again, the biggest problem in this area appeared to be rain which moved in and out pretty quickly. There were no really uh, very, very strong one winds that we could tell of right here. By the way, school officials take action once winds reach, they say, the threshold of about 40 miles an hour. At that point, they say school officials and principals start looking at their uh, emergency plans. Jim, back to you. All right, we can hear it coming through loud and clear. Mary Alice, thank you. And we are now getting word about some rain-related problems at airports around the area. On the phone with us now is William Schumann of the Federal Aviation Administration. Mr. Schumann, what kind of delays are we seeing now? Uh, hi, Jim and Pat. Actually, in this area, the situation is very good. The only problem is there are uh, some departure delays of more than 15 and less than 30 minutes at Washington Dulles, and that's basically due to the number of airplanes trying to leave. The situation is worse at other major airports, Atlanta, Newark, and LaGuardia, Midway and O'Hare in Chicago, and at Philadelphia. There, the weather uh, is causing uh, arrival delays at all of those airports. Uh, for example, at Newark now, the average delay is about an hour and a half, same thing, a little longer at LaGuardia, uh, just under an hour at O'Hare. Philadelphia, the situation is much worse. The uh, delay there is uh, more than four hours for the average arrival. If you're going to Philadelphia, I wouldn't plan on flying today. Uh, Mr. Schumann, with the rain expected to move out soon, how long a night do you expect it to be at the airports uh, where we are seeing delays? Uh, that's difficult to say right now because uh, the problem, as I said, is not in this area. It's more in the New York area. Uh, uh, it's even worse in Philadelphia and also in Atlanta and Chicago. All right, William Schumann with the FAA. Mr. Schumann, thank you for taking time out with us. As always, best to call ahead in weather like this. Turning now to our other big story this afternoon, lawyers for pop superstar singer Michael Jackson are reportedly negotiating with police the terms of his surrender on child molestation charges. The Sheriff's Department in Santa Barbara issued a warrant for Jackson's arrest today it comes one day after a raid on Jackson's Neverland Ranch. Arch Campbell is in our newsroom now with more on this big story today, Arch. Thanks, Pat. Uh, these are serious charges leveled against Michael Jackson today by the Santa Barbara County Sheriff. Charges of child molestation that, if proven, could carry a jail term of three to eight years. The basis for this investigation regarding Mr. Jackson involves allegations of child molestation, 288A of the California Penal Code. Additionally, an arrest warrant for Mr. Jackson has been issued on multiple counts of child molestation. The bail amount on the warrant has been set at $3 million. 
Michael Jackson was investigated but not charged in a similar incident about a decade ago. The new charges spell serious trouble ahead for the one-time king of pop. Now let's go to NBC's Donna Tatro. She's in Santa Barbara with the very latest. Music icon Michael Jackson now faces criminal charges. There is a warrant outstanding, and I can assure you that within a very short period of time, there will be charges filed against Mr. Jackson, multiple counts. Santa Barbara Sheriff's investigators were ready to detain Jackson yesterday during their day-long raid at his Neverland Ranch, but the performer was in Las Vegas. They're looking for videotapes, letters. They're going through his computer. I mean, they, they came up, they came with a locksmith, so they're ready to un uncover anything they need to. Jackson's family attorney is confident the allegations will prove to be untrue, but says Jackson is ready to cooperate with police. At this point in time, Mr. Jackson's been given an opportunity to surrender himself to the custody of the Santa Barbara Sheriff's Department within a specified period of time. I am certain that Michael will take the proper measures to get in touch with everyone and make the arrangements to accommodate law enforcement, whatever it is that they wish. He will make it certain that he will be there when they want him. Ten years ago, Jackson settled another abuse case out of court. And more recently, Jackson came under fire for dangling his youngest son from a hotel balcony in Germany. In Santa Barbara County, California, Donna Tatro, NBC News. And, of course, we'll be keeping tabs on this story here at News 4. I'll have an update uh, in about 30 minutes. Pat and Jim. All right. Thank you, Arch. Coming up straight ahead on News 4 at 4, our storm team is keeping watch for you on the wild weather in our area. Meanwhile, parts of the southeast are cleaning up now from heavy rains and damaging winds down there. And federal investigators place the blame for the August blackout that darkened parts of the east coast. And they explain how the whole disaster could have been prevented. Tonight on News 4 at 5, modern medicine is turning to old folk remedies, and locally grown herbs may be the next pharmaceutical stars. Doreen Gensler reports News for Your Health, the pharmacy in the forest. Tonight, only on News 4 at 5. by what's inside. If you don't equate shopping with pure exhilaration, then where have you been shopping? The finest collection of brands awaits you with savings of 25 to 65 percent every day. At Leesburg Corner Premium Outlets, Route 7 and 15, Leesburg, Virginia. Shop better. It's closing in on you. Wait, they're multiplying. I can't see them. They're right on you. Move. Get your hands on some serious technology, like a compact Presario with the Intel Pentium 4 processor. Offer just $4.99 after rebates, plus free shipping. Get what they've got. Get a compact Presario. Latest on Michael's face-off with the police, then Scott Peterson TV movie and Dean Cain's cold-blooded transformation. Kind of freaks me out. Plus, Oprah crashes a set of friends next to Access Hollywood. Tonight at 7.30 on NBC4. You're watching News 4 at 4. For the first time, jurors in the trial of sniper suspect Lee Boyd Malvo are hearing emotional testimony today from a survivor of the shooting spree. Now those on trial for the murder of FBI analyst Linda Franklin. But as in the Muhammad case, prosecutors are presenting evidence from other attacks to support the capital murder charges. Today, the woman who was shot outside a Michael's craft store in Spotsylvania County took the witness stand. Jurors also heard from the daughter of sniper victim Pascal Charlotte who was shot while crossing a D.C. street. News 4's Julie Carey will have a full report on today's testimony right here on News 4 at 6 tonight. 
Meanwhile, jurors in Virginia Beach listened to the ex-wife of John Muhammad today in the penalty phase of his trial. Mildred Muhammad testified today that her ex-husband threatened to kill her after they separated three years ago. She also told jurors of a difficult battle for custody over their three children. John Muhammad's defense team, meanwhile, tried to paint a softer picture of their client, presenting letters in which the children wrote they loved and missed their father. The jury in Muhammad's case is deciding whether to recommend a sentence of life without parole or the death penalty. A live report from the Muhammad trial is coming up tonight on News 4 at 5. The red-hot housing market hits a 17-year high. The Commerce Department says residential construction rose less than three, just under 3% last month, its best performance since January 1986. Preliminary numbers from Wall Street now. They show the Dow closing up 66 points today and the NASDAQ gaining about 17 points. Jerry Knight joins us live from the Washington Post. And uh, Jerry, this is good news today. And did that uh, report give a positive boost to investors? I think it did, Pat. Housing stocks did very nicely. Our biggest local builder, NVR Homes, picked up about two bucks a share today. But this is really good news for the whole economy. People thought the housing business would slow down now that interest rates have come up a little bit, but they haven't at all. They just keep taking off. And we're talking today about housing starts. Those houses are going to get built over the next several months. That's going to keep spending going and consumer spending going for months and months. Overall, a big plus for the economy, Pat. All right. Thank you, Jerry. Just in time for Christmas, a uh, toy price war. Jerry will have more on that when he joins us again at 4.50. Turning to traffic, we've got a lot of road closures this rush hour. Ken Forsyth joins us live from News Force Total Traffic Network. Uh, Ken, uh, where are the closures? Well, Jim and Pat, we have road closures around Montgomery County, particularly Brink Road at Watkins Road, also along Brookville Road between Georgia Avenue and Greyhaven Manor Road, and on the interstate especially. I'll talk to you about that in just a moment. Let's go to the camera right now. I'll show you the inbound trip across the 14th Street Bridge. Heavy and slow, we are getting a report of roadway flooding, uh, the, the flooding of the roadway, rather, westbound on Main Avenue around 15th Street. That is near the Tidal Basin. Flooding uh, has uh, closed that portion of westbound Main Avenue. Across the uh, southbound lanes of 395, we're just hearing about an accident leaving the outbound 14th Street Bridge. Right near boundary, uh, boundary channel accident is in the right lane. I'm going to take you very quickly to a map. On the Beltway, uh, coming around the inner loop at River Road, we have roadway flooding affecting the two left lanes and the inner loop also at Old Georgetown Road. Things are slow out of Tyson's Corner. Again, on the outer loop, we're heavy and slow, uh, Jim and Pat, things uh, around Old Georgetown Road uh, to get to the uh, to get to the Tyson's area around the outer loop of the Beltway. Things are slow from New Hampshire Avenue. That's what's happening from here. Back to you. All righty. Thanks, Ken. Stay right there. We've got much more ahead on News 4 4. Our weather team returns with the latest on the storms blowing through our area. Scary spider puppets. I'm Liz Crenshaw. Coming up tonight in my Toy Story, things that are scary, things that are squirty, and toy trains for the little ones. Tonight, my Toy Story, News 4 at 4. And a programming note, because of extended weather coverage today, we'll bring you our Airfare Deals of the Week segment tomorrow. When you talk about important design features, the GMC Envoy can teach the imports a lesson. Because with a tighter turning radius and more horsepower than Honda Pilot, Toyota 4Runner, and Lexus RX 330, the Envoy is engineered to be in a class of its own. Get 3,000 cash back on a 2004 Envoy. Our qualified buyers get 0% APR for 60 months. Upgrade to professional grade. See the pros at your local GMC dealer. The number one suspense writer in America has gone too far. Big Bad Wolf. His greatest villain is here for you. Big Bad Wolf. The best Alex Cross in years, says Publishers Weekly. Big Bad Wolf by James Patterson. Forget about TV or the movies or sleep. Read The Big Bad Wolf. Alex Cross is back. I guess they'll be here in a couple of days. Where are we going to put them? Oh, the kids can sleep on the floor. That carpet's a mess. Need new carpet fast? Call Empire today. Shop at home and we'll install next day. Save 50% plus no payments till 2005 and get a free turkey. Everyone comfy? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. You ought to try this. It's great. 
800-588-2300-Empire. Today, call for windows and siding in a week, too. Every year, seniors hear the promises, hoping for results. But attempts to improve Medicare are on the verge of being derailed by partisan politics. Senator Barbara Mikulski has kept fighting, casting an historic vote for a Medicare drug benefit. Seniors know Senator Mikulski has always put results ahead of politics. Call Senator Barbara Mikulski. Thank her for her leadership. Because seniors are too close to getting the drug benefit they need to let it slip away now. What do you love about Ziploc Easy Zipper? I just love this zip thing. It's so easy. Zip it? I love the sound it makes. <laughs> Ziploc Easy Zipper bag. My kids think it's really cool how easy it is for them to use it. They have trouble closing, you know, the pinching ones. I think it makes life a lot easier. The sound, and you feel secure. You can hear that it's closed. You know it black. No salt coming out. Keeps it really nice and fresh. That's what I love about the Ziploc Easy Zipper. Zip, zip, and you're done. Ziploc Easy Zipper. Designed with you in mind. S.C. E. Johnson, a family company. You're watching News 4 at 4. The storm system that's affecting us this evening has a history to it. It made a mark on several southern states. Flooding from heavy rain was a big problem. As much as eight inches of rain fell in mountains of northwestern North Carolina. There also was a problem with runoff from the mountains in parts of Tennessee. Wind was another big problem, causing damage and power outages. During the early part of the day, tornado watches were posted for areas scattered from Florida into West Virginia. Down to Florida, evidence of the rough weather that blew through. Winds were strong enough to damage this apartment building in Pinellas County and to cause chaos at an arts festival that was being set up in Sarasota. When strong winds blew through Philadelphia today, a scaffold on a four-story building collapsed. At least three people were injured. It's not clear if the injured had been standing on the scaffold or had been walking on the sidewalk below. Whoa. Whoa. Back mm -hmm. close to home. Not the wind so much today, but that rain, and it sounds like it is going to be a long night, Veronica. Yeah. Well, we are expecting another one half inch of rain, and, and the thing is that we've we've got a lot of clogged drains that are out there. That's why we're talking Leaf. about right from the leaves, from all the leaves that are falling. You know, they've got to go somewhere, and that's just it. That they're backing up against those drains, giving us some minor street flooding. Wanted to show you some images from today of uh, some of that street flooding, what's been taking place in and around the area. We've seen it in a lot of locations, Gaithersburg, and certainly there's probably quite a bit of a flooding taking place around the Harpers Ferry area because there's some heavy rain coming down there now. So that will be the main concern for the overnight. And a lot of locations under a flood warning, Loudoun, Montgomery, Howard, Prince William, Fairfax, D.C., Prince George's, and Anne Arundel County, again with that additional one half inch of rain and the water, yeah, piling up that southeasterly wind. Let's go ahead real quick, though, and take a look at our current conditions in the forecast for the overnight. Picked up over one inch of rain at Reagan National, so we're even closer to getting to 55 inches for an annual uh, rainfall total here, putting us up into the uh, record books, uh, certainly. Temperature is 56. The pressure is still falling with that wind, again, out of the east and southeast at 9 miles per hour. And we will see some breezy conditions coming up tomorrow. But, again, the highest winds with the storm system gone off to the east. Tonight, the winds will be increasing uh, to about 20 miles per hour. Then by tomorrow morning, between 20 and 25. But I assure you, this is not going to be anything like what we have from last week's storm system. In the 50s, with the uh, rain pretty much winding down around midnight. And that's what we've got to show you on Digital Doppler Storm Tracker right now. The pockets anywhere that you see the yellow is where the heaviest rain is right now. Like around Fredericksburg and down towards Stafford, it's falling at a rate of one half inch per hour and it's sliding up to the north and uh, northeast, so right along areas of I-95, Winchester, and again around Harpers uh, Ferry to the north here, a pocket of heavy rain. But Chief Meteorologist Bob Ryan has been looking at this wide area of severe weather today and a look at where the flood warnings are still up for the night. Bob? Veronica, there are still some uh, watches out, tornado watches out, but they're really to our northeast, not around here, up into New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania, and down to the uh, lower eastern shore. That's the areas that are now getting some of the heaviest rains. And you can see the flood warning again around us. And as you mentioned, because of really all of the clogged uh, storm drains, also you can see that when we have those strong southerly winds, really really piling the water right up the Potomac, and that's the reason there is some flooding down around Haynes Point. It's also the time of high tide. But indeed, as we go through the evening, things are going to be uh, really improving, and you've got some information around our Four Winds neighborhood storm stations. Indeed, I do. Uh, even though we expect the winds to pick up a little later tonight, wanted to show you how they've really subsided right now to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. The strongest winds where those storms are now up to 20 and 25 miles per hour through Delaware areas of the eastern shore.
temperatures in the 50s and look at Falls Church there with the rain that you picked up, the cloud cover moving through close to two inches of rain, the temperature at 58 degrees. We'll go ahead and show you uh, where those uh, wash boxes are still in effect and what's coming up. Low pressure systems, a couple of them loaded up eastern areas of Maryland and another one in areas of western New York. Here's your front. It doesn't move through here until right around midnight. So it's then that we'll start to clear out some stronger winds and that's through the day tomorrow. But it's a mostly sunny day coming up tomorrow with the breezy conditions and a high right at 56 degrees. 65 year temperature for Friday and yes we are expecting to warm up once again into at least the mid 60s a little bit better than seasonal conditions and that Jim and Pat is through the weekend right. so the weekend now is looking quiet the system looking more progressive it's moving on it's not going to sit here the nice. you know, whole spin in the atmosphere we do like that so the threat of severe weather over get it out of here way to go Veronica <laughs> and Bob yeah. thanks a lot you're welcome Thank you. Still to come on News 4 at 4 o'clock, blame for the big blackout and word that it could have been avoided. And authorities investigate whether Rush Limbaugh illegally funneled money to buy his prescription painkillers. I'm Arch Campbell. When will Michael Jackson surrender to an arrest warrant in Santa Barbara County? An update this hour on News 4 at 4. Tonight on News 4 at 11. There isn't a day I don't cry, and there isn't a day I don't think of that. It's been 12 years since the murder of Rosalia Butrago inside her Gaithersburg townhome. It, it's like something was ripped out of me that day when I found out. Now, in a News 4 exclusive, Joe Krebs talks with the daughter and sister Rosalia left behind, and the detective determined to crack the case. One of those cases where you, where you feel like justice has to be served. Cold case, Rosalia Butrago. Tonight, after Law & Order on News 4 at 11. I wanted to do business with someone who was, you know, well-respected, not just anyone. The difference at Fitzgerald is that they offer delivered prices. The price you see is the price you pay. They're not in the business to try to hassle you. They're in the business to try to get you your vehicle at your convenience in the way that you want it and uh, give you the lowest price possible. Knowing what I know about Fitzgerald now, I'll be more than happy to recommend them to family, friends, and whoever's in the uh, market for a vehicle. The Fitz way, there's just no better way to go. For a terrific selection of furniture made just for kids, shop the kids' store at the room store. They'll love choosing their very own room from our collection of styles that includes feminine looks for girls, rugged looks for boys, and a variety of contemporary styles that are fun for everyone. Plus, you get the room store's low price guarantee and no payments and no interest until 2005. It's all about the kids. At the room. Scratchers from the Virginia Lottery. They always make a big splash. Major turn, major look, major ask what was that. There are a lot of great things you can see on Ford Focus and Mustang, but maybe the most important are the ones you can. The five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain coverage on Focus and the power of the V8 260-horsepower engine on Mustang. Get 0% for six years or up to 47.50 cash back. Look again at Mustang and Focus. Again. Persons interested in a full-time job at WRC-TV can find out about current job opportunities by contacting the WRC-TV job line at 202-885-4057 or by accessing the WRC-TV website at NBC4.com. Both detail current job opportunities at WRC-TV. WRC-TV is an equal opportunity employer. You're watching NBC4, working for you. Live from the area's leading news station, this is News 4 at 4. And welcome back, everybody. Now at 4.30, I'm Jim Hadley. I'm Pat Lawson News. Topping our news this half hour, government investigators are placing the blame for the nation's worst blackout on an energy company in Ohio. That blackout left more than 50 million people in the dark, and it stretched from New York City to the Great Lakes region and up into Canada. The joint U.S.-Canadian task force is looking into that outage and has found that it could have been prevented and contained. Michael Williams joins us live from Capitol Hill with the latest. Michael? Hello, Jim and Pat. The blame is being handed out today, but still ahead the daunting task of trying to make fixes so that the nation's power grid does not suffer another similar major failure. 
An Ohio Energy Company short circuit on August 14th began a domino effect. It knocked out the lights from Cleveland to Detroit to New York and Toronto. This blackout was largely preventable. A U.S.-Canadian government task force says the massive blackout began with three power line failures at Ohio's First Energy Corporation. One contributing cause, First Energy's failure to trim trees that ended up hitting and short-circuiting those high-capacity lines. In the First Energy control room, investigators found alarms did not work and operators did not know they were being left in the dark. The loss of the three lines resulted in too much electricity flowing onto other nearby lines, which caused them to overload. On it went. Investigators say the Midwest Regional Power Coordinator did not properly analyze what was happening. The electricity surge went on unchecked, throwing the delicate balance between supply and demand out of whack all the way to New York and into Canada as well. No evidence to date of terrorist activities or any sort of foul play or sabotage on August 14th. Human error, poor maintenance, and ignoring voluntary reliability standards. All of that is before the Joint Task Force in the second phase of its probe, one that tries to create fixes for the nation's aging power grid. That critical part of the report is due out early next year. It will focus largely on ways to ensure tougher, new, mandatory reliability standards, the emphasis on mandatory, not voluntary, reliability standards for the nation's power companies. Reporting live from Capitol Hill, I'm Michael Williams. Jim and Pat, back to you. All right, thanks, Michael. There are new allegations tonight involving radio commentator Rush Limbaugh and money laundering. Authorities are investigating whether Limbaugh illegally funneled money to buy prescription painkillers. He just went back on the air Monday after undergoing drug rehab for his addiction to painkillers. During his broadcast today, Limbaugh said he was not withdrawing money. He was rather withdrawing money and not laundering money. Limbaugh said he knows who's behind the money laundering story and why they're doing it, but he says he can't reveal that information at this time. We've got some dramatic pictures when we come back tonight on News 4 for the ending to a police chase in Houston, all captured on video. And a new twist on an old phrase, no gain, no pain. We'll hear how certain foods can help you lose weight and feel better. We'll be back. Dreaming about the beautiful lingerie you see at the finest stores? Dream no more. Ross has everything you see here for 40 to 60% less. Ross, there's no comparison. The number one suspense writer in America has gone too far. Big Bad Wolf. His greatest villain is here for you. Big Bad Wolf. The best Alex Cross in years, says Publishers Weekly. Big Bad Wolf. By James Patterson. Forget about TV or the movies or sleep. Read The Big Bad Wolf. Alex Cross is back. Need sleep? Then go to the warehouse, Mattress Warehouse, during their Beauty Rest Mattress Sale. Get up to $150 off qualifying Beauty Rest Mattress Sets and see the top of the line Beauty Rest Dreamwell Mattress Collection. Mattress Warehouse. We guarantee the lowest prices on all name brand mattresses, including Sealy, Serta, and Simmons Beauty Rest. Sleep happy, happy, at Mattress Warehouse. The Hyundai Santa Fe is making more sense to more people. It's loaded with standard features and costs $1,300 less than a Toyota RAV4 when comparably equipped. And only Hyundai has America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. Test drive the 2004 Hyundai Santa Fe, starting at just $17,494 with Sport Utility Package. With Hyundai, you win. Get up to $2,000 cash back or 0% APR for up to 36 months. Danny went to a department store and spent $42 on a hooded sweatshirt. Jack went to Ross and bought the exact same sweatshirt for only $16.99, proving one can save $25 without breaking a sweat. Ross, there's no comparison. You're watching News 4 at 4. A police chase in Houston, Texas, wound up in dramatic fashion today. Officers were pursuing a woman wanted on outstanding warrants when she collided with three other vehicles at this intersection one was a police car. All involved were taken to the hospital. The driver 
being chased was then arrested. Hmm. Well, let's get an update now on traffic and weather. Let's start with Veronica. And how long should we be expecting this rain this evening, Veronica? Uh, the rain will really start to taper off, uh, Jim and Pat, around midnight, around 3, 4 a.m., maybe a few light drops uh, left, but uh, for tomorrow, mostly sunny and breezy. You can see where the rain is now, the heaviest stuff down to the south areas around Fauquier County, southern there, and Charles, as well as uh, St. Mary's County. In terms of uh, the forecast for tonight, well, we expect temperatures to be in the 50s. You can see some of the rainfall totals there in Leesburg, uh, close to two inches of rain. And there's a look at some of the temperatures with our winds out of the east coming into the northwest. Flood warnings remain up until 7 p.m. Now let's head on over to Ken Forsythe with a look at how traffic's moving on this sloppy evening. Ken? Oh, Veronica's moving pretty slowly, as a matter of fact. Going to take you out to Springfield Live right now, southbound on Interstate 95. You can't see it from here, but far back in the picture here, the delays on 95 South begin somewhere around Franconia Springfield Parkway and extend down to 7100, and then again, slow Lorton to 123. Let's take a look and see how it's going heading to the Wilson Bridge. We're jammed now before Telegraph Road heading to the Wilson to get into Prince George's County. Jim and Pat, back to you. All right, thanks, Ken. A new assault charge is leveled today against supermodel Naomi Campbell. That charge was leveled by an assistant who said it happened during the tantrum. Arch Campbell will be back live with the tales for us. And Arch has the latest on the accusations against Michael Jackson. Tonight on News 4 at 5, modern medicine is turning to old folk remedies, and locally grown herbs may be the next pharmaceutical stars. Doreen Gensler reports News for Your Health, the pharmacy in the forest. Tonight, only on News 4 at 5. NBC Tonight on Ed, it's finally here. Come with me. Ed will propose to Carol the way only one show can. Will you marry me? Then, on an all-new West Wing. The U.S. government is shut down. A showdown with a bitter rival for the fate of the nation. We had a deal. And on an all-new Law & Order, ripped from the headlines, a reporter reveals true positions. Now he's been shot. They got half the world wants dead. Ed, the West Wing at Law & Order, all-new NBC Tonight. Nissan 03. It's been a great story. We introduce the adventurous Murano. Exhilarating Maximum. Innovative Quest. And massive Pathfinder Armada. Now it's an exceptional time to buy an exciting new Nissan. During the Nissan National Year End Event. Because every great story deserves a happy ending. 30 days of standard service, 30 days of digital service, 30 days of HBO. How much? One dollar. One dollar for up to 200 of your favorite channels, including great digital networks, plus hit movies and original series on HBO. Pick a show and play it whenever with On Demand and pause or rewind whenever you want. That's 30 days of standard, digital, and HBO for one dollar. Plus call today and get connected tomorrow. Hurry, this offer won't last long. Call Comcast now. Latest on Michael's face-off with the police, then Scott Peterson TV movie, and Dean Cain's cold-blooded transformation. Kind of freaks me out. Plus, Oprah crashes a set of friends. Next, Access Hollywood. Tonight at 7.30 on NBC4. You're watching News 4 at 4. Michael Jackson faces serious new charges this afternoon of child molestation. Authorities in Santa Barbara, California have issued a warrant for his arrest. Right now, they're waiting for the superstar to turn himself in. Arch Campbell is here with the latest. Arch? Thanks, Jim, and thanks, Pat. And hi, everybody. I'm Arch Campbell with Showbiz Today. Michael Jackson has hired a criminal attorney to defend him from new child molestation charges in Santa Barbara County, California. An arrest warrant went out after a search of Jackson's Neverland Ranch. Ironically, the new charges arrived on the anniversary of a former Michael Jackson controversy. Exactly one year ago, Michael Jackson made headlines dangling his baby over a hotel balcony. The uproar seemed serious at the time, but nothing like the criminal charges now being leveled against the superstar. At this point in time, Mr. Jackson's been given an opportunity to surrender himself to the custody of the Santa Barbara Sheriff's Department within a specified period of time. We are currently working with Mr. Jackson's legal representation on this matter. Mr. Jackson has also been directed to surrender his passport when he's taken into custody. Santa Barbara's district attorney says an ongoing investigation centers on multiple charges of abuse 
involving a child under the age of 14. Charges that, if proven, carry a jail term of three to eight years. Michael Jackson's attorney promises full cooperation. I am certain that Michael will take the proper measures to get in touch with everyone and make the arrangements to accommodate law enforcement. Whatever it is that they wish, he will make it certain that he will be there when they want him. Now, authorities wait for his surrender. Michael Jackson has been in Las Vegas working on the video, his lawyers working out the tales of that surrender. Other news today, another celebrity in trouble, supermodel Naomi Campbell may face a court date on charges that she threw a telephone at her personal assistant. Simone Craig no longer works for Campbell. She says the supermodel threw a tantrum that she says turned into an assault. And England's new royal baby has gone home. Prince Edward and his wife Sophie haven't announced the name of their little girl yet. The baby came prematurely on November 8th and has been kept in the hospital to gain strength. And finally, here's Johnny Carson's house. Here's Johnny's house. Or at least the house where he grew up in Norfolk, Nebraska. The owners offered to sell it to the city as a museum, but no dice. So now you can buy it on eBay. You can have it for $119,000. And they call that street Johnny Carson Boulevard out there in Nebraska. I'm Arch Campbell, and that's Showbiz Today. I bet they do. Sounds like a bargain. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Arch. Thank you. Coming up, what's the regenerator? It's something the kids might have on their Christmas list. So stay tuned. Liz Crenshaw joins us with some of the best new toys out there this season. And Veronica will be back with the latest on our stormy weather. How did we design the Kia Sorento to attain the highest quality? How did it get the government's highest safety rating? How did we back it with such a great warranty and still price it thousands less than the competition? How did we do all this? We worked our freaking tails off. That's how. The obsessively perfected Kia Sorento. Visit your local Kia retailers. Hurry, offer ends soon. That's why Domino's created the new Philly Cheesesteak Pizza. Buy a medium Philly for $9.99 and get any second medium for just $5 more. Hit the door. It's Domino's new Philly Cheesesteak Pizza. You don't want to do that. Oh, there's no place. This holiday season, the magic begins at Lowe's. You'll see every kind of decoration and ornament imaginable. And the very latest in holiday lights. There are trees of every description. You mean it comes this way? Lights and all. Lights and all. And only Lowe's has the Carrolltown collection. Lowe's has low prices every day, guaranteed. Lowe's, improving home improvement. Toyota, always a first choice for quality and value, and now the first choice for selection and savings. Choose from 17 different models, including Forerunners, Highlanders, and Siennas with third row seating. Or choose Solara, all new for 2004 and more powerful than ever. Choose a versatile Matrix, or come in now for the biggest, best equipped Corolla ever. Get first choice savings with 2.9% APR financing up to five years. Go with your first choice for quality and value, your Toyota dealer. You're watching News 4 at 4. Liz Crenshaw is back with a cutting edge look at what's hot this holiday season. A first look for many of us. We're actually back with toys again. I can't thank you all for helping us. Pat and Jim have been helping me out. The toy makers do send us these toys, by the way. And people have been asking me, as you guys know, we give all these toys That's away right, the to the shelters at the end of the Absolutely. week. So we're going to start off, though, with our little talking bear. You may have seen the uh, ads for the new Disney movie um, about the bears. And hey, there, how you doing? Talking hey, we're doing just fine. Thank Talk you. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Coda. My name is Coda. Come on down. The cute the cute thing about Coda is he's soft, yeah. and he's got a nice quiet voice, which is why... a little conversation yeah, going back Yeah, it is a little conversation. Right. I kind of like him. Another little soft sort of conversationalist. Hi, Tony. Let's play. Her name is Strawberry Shortcake. She's 30 bucks. We're going places. She's a bit of a throwback, I think, Ready because Strawberry Shortcake was popular years ago, years ago. and she's back. We're okay. Again, quiet, 
soft and a nice little voice, so it's and not... a cabbage patch face a here. A little cabbage. Very yeah, good, I remember. Jim. Yeah. Do you still <laughs> have your yeah. cabbage patch? Don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> Somebody in the family had Speaking one. Speaking of throwbacks, you guys may remember Jenga. I didn't set this up because Jenga's kind of difficult. It's a wooden toy game that basically you have to pull out the different sticks. The cool thing about Jenga Extreme is that when you build the tower now, you can build it kind of at different angles. So okay. it's a more difficult game to play. A lot of hours of good play, actually. I think Jenga's a good choice. 20 bucks, kids 12 and up. Uh -huh. So if you've got sort of like those tweens that you're not sure what you sure. buy for, we'll I think Jenga Extreme is kind of fun. Okay. The, the little ones, that, speaking of throwbacks, oh, I love Play-Doh. I, I have something about the smell. I'm yeah. not quite sure. Everybody <laughs> loves Play-Doh. <laughs> Everybody loves Play-Doh. But get this, the cute thing about this one is it's Play-Doh Island. And when you kind of load these right. guys, Ooh, you load these guys up. And grow hair and, and a mustache. And, 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 and something <laughs> that goes over his little eyeball there. <laughs> his bang. Play-Doh is inexpensive. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Kids three and up. You know, All you right. really can't go wrong with a little Play-Doh set. I think that's sort of fun. Um, fridge phonics. This is something that's from LeapFrog. You know, when you were a child, there were the, the little letters, the magnetic letters that went on the refrigerator. Yeah, this, all over. This is kind of a new version of that. You pretty much turn this on, it'll sing, or if you put the letter in... So... And the idea is that all of these things are magnetic. So this sticks to the fridge, all ah, of the different letters stick to the fridge. Great. And so when the child is playing, it's not just looking at the letter and you say, oh, can you find me the Z, Billy? Yeah. When he finds the Z, it says. And, sure. and you can find the toy on the refrigerator. Yes, exactly. actually, right. right. It all doesn't fall. Yeah, that's doesn't fall, yes, that's right. that break doesn't too fall on the underneath. Like now, that. you guys have something that in front of you that kind of looks like this. This is called yeah. the the uh, action tracker and the idea behind this is it's a little strange you take these little devices and you say put one in your sister's bedroom or one in your brother's bedroom mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. and then if you move your hand in front of the device one. One. so that's and Pat's sensor the, one. right so Pat's the sensor, sensor two. or sensor two sensor one. All right. so what happens is, is that you pretty much sensor know that one. your sister's in her bedroom or uh -huh. someone's one. heading down the hall or whatever it's a little surreptitious thing I think it's a tween thing it's one of these spy kids kind Pretty of deal. sneaky. it's a yeah. little I sneaky like I think it's cute yeah. Yeah. Pat you've got a little puppet for me that I think is kind of creepy but that's you know like kind of a big puppet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's called the tarantula puppet it's from folk manis and not again for the squeamish not for the uh -uh. squeamish um, they're not inexpensive but at the same time, I think they're kind of cool. Um, the nice thing about these puppets is they're well made, um, and you know we sort of enjoy playing with them, even if they're a little bit gross. All right, um, spread out. Here's bit. my favorite. This is Jim's favorite. This is called the Crash Zone Remote Control Regenerator. Right. Um, pretty much, if he bumps into something, you'll see. Oh. Oh, right over the right edge. over the edge. Pat, help us out there, girl. Thank hey, you so much. You when it bumps into something, when it bumps into something, and thing. he collapses, then Jim can push a button. Watch. And it falls back. And he goes back together. Let's try it. Let's try it again. Doable. Yeah. And then he comes back together, and he can go back. Even goes in reverse. Look at this. Crack, the cracks and up keeps on, and keeps on ticking. Sturdy Some of ride. the pieces come off, they pop right back on. It's the Crash Zone re re Remote Control Regenerator. I think it's a lot of fun. It seems to be very sturdy, durable, mm -hmm. steerable, Great. which is kind of fun. Yeah, it and does turn. It's intended turn. to be crashed. It's intended to be crashed. Just don't drive I, it off the tables or cliffs. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it away from cliffs. Jim, would you grab right. the yeah. other side of this? This is one of my favorite toys of the season. It's a train that is not terribly expensive. If we can maybe get it flat, I yep. think it may, there we go. It may go a little bit. You pull it up maybe on the edge of there. There yep. we go. There we go. Um, and then Pat, this is pretty elaborate. Just, just go like this. This is called GeoTrax. It's a raid and roll system. It is made by Fisher Price. You build it yourself. It has these little motors that take you up and down the hills. Oh, and if you nice. want to, you can set it up in any configuration. It has all sorts of things that you can build with bridges, mm -hmm. etc. And then if you feel like stopping it, push it all the way down. And it makes that little noise where, where it like... Oh, sure. See? Pretty realistic. I like that. And at end of the, at the, the track. the end of the track, yeah. which I think is really uh, sweet. And how much again for this? this actually 40 bucks and you can All build right. a bunch of different things so fisher price geotrax one of our favorites regenerator one of your favorites exactly thank you both for helping me That's out again and we idea. have more we All have right. more coming tomorrow and more All five right. i'll see you at four and five yeah. thanks liz thank let's liz. get an update now on the weather from bob hi pat hi jim uh, and uh, we are now still looking at uh, officially a uh, flood warning but our, as we've been mentioning 
Uh, it is really uh, for sort of storm drains that are clogged up, and also there is uh, quite a bit of water up around Haynes Point because of the strong uh, southerly winds. Uh, here's live digital Doppler 3D, and you can still see we've got a fair amount of rain in and around us, but the very heaviest rains now, more to our south and our east, out to uh, Veronica over at Storm Tracker. Indeed, still have rain over the area. The heaviest rain gone, but some spots down to the south, Bob, still picking up some heavy rain, like in Albemarle County, between I-64 and 95. And this is sliding up to the north and northeast, so over the next hour, spots receiving some moderate rain will be around Spotsylvania and Stafford and Charles County as well as eventually up into Loudoun County, Montgomery County, then also Prince George's County. You can see there in the yellow and, and Arundel County. Everywhere in the yellow, so we've got more coming up tonight, Bob. We do indeed. About another half inch in some spots. Uh, again, the uh, flood warning that is still in effect is in effect until 7.15. All the other watches, by the way, the flood watch, that's been expired, and the tornado watch, they also have expired. So rain ending by midnight, and then tomorrow and on into the weekend, a lot of sunshine. It'll be a bit breezy tomorrow. But right now, the weekend uh, looks mighty fine. We'll keep you posted with any more and some localized areas of heavy rain that Veronica mentioned as we go through 5 and 6. Back to you. Uh, I'll take it, Bob. Okay, Thanks. Wendy. Today, we saw another side of sniper suspect John Mohammed. Coming up at 5 o'clock, we saw him as a father as the words of his children were read in court during the sentencing phase. We'll have a live update from Virginia Beach. And modern medicine is turning to folklore and to the forest to treat some common ills. Dorian Gensler will explain in News for Your Health. That's coming up on News 4 at 5 in just a couple of minutes. Now let's go up to the newsroom and Jim Vance to see what's on the menu for 6. Jim? Hi, Wendy. Coming up at 6, we're going to report <clears throat> on some new rules regarding restaurants and bars in the district. Some people say <clears throat> if those rules go into effect, they'll change the landscape of nightlife in this city. Also tonight, Freddie Adu. He's 14 years old. He's making sports history here in Washington and around the world. George Michael will talk with him live tonight right here in our studio at six o'clock and a new twist in the old saying being robbed blind it's all about a masked bandit who forgot to do one very important thing another stupid crook story folks <laughs> all the stage news coming up at six it's amazing Jim. how many there are out there are all, all right. crook stories stupid <laughs> uh, thank you jim cut the weight and cut the pain coming up we'll hear how avoiding certain foods can help some people lose weight and feel better and just in time for the holidays, a toy price war. Jerry Knight has details coming up. The facts are here, and so are the new 2004 Chevy cars. Fact, your nation's capital area Chevy dealer has a huge selection. Fact, you'll get a great deal, like 0% APR for qualified buyers on most 2004 Chevy cars, or 4,000 cash back on a new Cavalier, excluding Cavalier Special Value Package. Get $3,000 cash back on a new Impala, or 1,000 cash back on the all-new Chevy Malibu. See your nation's capital area Chevy dealer today. So we're all set for Hawaii. Flight, hotel. Hey, look, we can book surfing lessons. I've always wanted to try that. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Perfect. Really? You're a natural. <laughs> or we can go horseback riding. Okay. Activities. Another way Expedia helps you create the trip that's right for you. Expedia. on some serious technology, like a compact Presario with a mobile Intel Pentium 4 processor, all for just $9.99 after rebate, plus free shipping. Get what they've got. Get a compact Presario. Fitzway is a way to describe our business philosophy. You see, there's more to it than just selling a car. All about a long-term relationship. Well, the main thing we look for when we're buying a car is the price and the service. That is golden. And Fitzgerald's got it. The price that they publish is the price you pay for. The way they treat the customers is beyond expectation. The Fitz way. There's just no better way to go. You're watching News 4 at 4. Stocks ended this day on the upside for the first time in five trading sessions. Here are the final closing numbers from Wall Street. The Dow shot up 66 points to close at 9,690. The Nasdaq rose almost 18 points to wind up at 1,899. 
And the New York Stock Exchange rose 28 points to finish at 59.67. Business reporter Jerry Knight joins us once again from the Washington Post. Hi, Jerry. Hey, Jim. Jerry, a new Wall Street scandal today. Tell us about this Operation Wooden Nickel. Well, Jim, this one's in the foreign exchange market. That's where traders try to make their money by changing the values of the dollar or the euro and other currencies. 47 currency traders have been arrested, and this got a script right out of primetime TV. They had undercover agents infiltrate some of these trading firms. They have hours and hours of wiretaps. Lots of hidden cameras correct, catching people on wrongdoing. The good news for investors in this one is there are almost no ordinary investors or small players in the foreign currency market. So it's not small folks who got hit. Doesn't sound like it. And just in time for the holidays, Jerry, we've got a toy price war. Well, Jim, if you look at the price tags and some of those toys you've been uh, playing with, you may find some real bargains because Walmart has started a toy price war just in time for us. They're already cutting prices on some of the most popular toys. They're down to... 10 to 20 percent below their list prices and of course when walmart cuts that means that toys r us has to cut prices and target has to cut prices so this one is spreading now already it's not even thanksgiving ah uh, competition we love it and a new low-cost airline is flying out of dulles tell us about that well atlantic coast airlines is turning itself into what they call independence air they will start next year flying bargain fares out of dulles they've been flying flights for uh, united as united express they will go become Independence Air next year. This should be a lot of good low fares because uh, Dulles will be their headquarters, and that'll mean that this, they'll start right here at home, Jim. All right, that's good to hear. Jerry, thank you. We'll check back again tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Sure. And for more business news, you can read Jerry Knight's column after the bell by visiting the Post website at WashingtonPost.com. Cutting the fat from your diet can do a lot more than help you shed a few pounds. There is a growing body of evidence that shows fats can impact the way your body handles pain. The thought is, cut the fat, reduce the pain. Helen Chickering reports. <laughs> Endless bouts of chronic neck and back pain sent Arlene Cadell to the chiropractor. I couldn't get comfortable at night. Um, I couldn't sleep very well, couldn't move my, my head back and forth. Manipulation helped, but Arlene says it was a change in diet prescribed by her chiropractor that finally took her pain away. Now my visits are few and far between. Dr. Angela Bela says the pain-free eating plan is simple. Eliminate hydrogenated oils, trans fats, the so-called bad fats. It's going to be your fast food, it's going to be your margarine, it's going to be your crackers, some of your cereals, not all, a lot of your chips and candies. Um, your good foods are going to be, you know, fish, a lot of good nuts, you don't want too much, but healthy seeds and nuts. How does fat cause pain? There's the obvious, eating too much fat can lead to weight gain, which can lead to aching joints. But fat plays another role by affecting hormones in our body called prostaglandins, which help regulate inflammation. Drugs like aspirin, ibuprofen, work on the prostaglandin system. And research suggests certain foods, especially fats in the diet, can have a similar effect. Specifically, good fats may help reduce inflammation, but bad fats may trigger the process. It's like adding fuel to a fire. It's, it's adding gasoline to a fire, and it just keeps going. Dr. Kimberly Greenwald is a pain specialist. She says while diet alone often isn't the sole cause or cure for pain, it can play a role. Milk products, for instance, sometimes make joint pain worse in certain patients um, and other things along those same lines. So it's just trying to work within um, the problem that they have and try to figure out what dietary um, things might be helpful. Eliminating the bad fat did the trick for Arlene. I don't have to pop a pill. <laughs> anti-inflammatory and um, I just feel more energetic and best of all she's pain-free Helen Chickering NBC News mm. now along with good fats like those you get from fish and from olive oil studies show cooked vegetables also help your body to make pain-fighting hormones those painful potato chips and cookies I knew there was something yeah they make you ache yeah that's going to do it for us. We thank you for watching. We're back again tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Hope you are, too. Stay out dry out there. Stay with us now also for News 4 at 5, coming your way next.